Okay, for this screencast, we're going to do something called least squares regression. So, I live in Mobile, Alabama, and here is a website that I found that lists the average max temperature from January through December for 1961 to 1990. Now, I have copied and pasted this into a um, script here. So, here is average max temperature in Fahrenheit average min temperature in Fahrenheit, average total precipitation in inches, and then it's 12 months, January through February, so I have months 1 through 12. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make a figure, set the background to white, uh, fig, fig equals, um, and then you want to plot the months, and I'm going to do, for this example, I'm going to do the average max temperature. And since you have only single data points, I'm going to plot uh, just blue stars. And then I'm going to do grid on, hold on, and hit F5. Um, and something, I got an error. Undefined, oh, okay, yeah, I didn't, undefined function variable, I need underscore F. Okay, cool. So here is our our temperature in Fahrenheit as a function of months. We should probably throw an X label on here, a month, um, Y label, um, average max temperature in Fahrenheit. Run that again. There we go. So we've got our plot, average max temperature, months. So this looks like it's quadratic. So say I want to fit a line through this, I need to generate my equation. So I need y equals h a. So y is my vector of y coordinates. So that's gonna be average max temp temperature f, and I'm gonna transpose it so it's a column. And h is gonna be a column of ones, a length, of y comma one, and then as many orders as you want. So if I just do x, it'll be linear. If I do x dot hat squared, it'll be quadratic. So let's just start with quadratic. And then I'm gonna say that x is my months, and transpose that. Okay, and then a star is just inverse h transpose times h times h transpose times y, and then y tilde is h times a star. And then I'm going to plot x comma y tilde. And I'm going to do a red line and I'm going to make a line width of 2. And now I'm going to run that. And there we go. There's my least square fit. Now if I'd like, if I wanted to, I could increase this in, to a third order approximation. And then here we go, There's a, it looks like that's a better fit. I could add an extra order here, and now I've got fourth order, and that's actually a really, really good fit. And if I wanted to know what my residuals were, R, I would just do the sum of Y minus Y tilde, and I'd have to do dot hat squared. And it looks like R is 6.4 if I do a cubic my R is 37. If I do a quadratic, my R is 101. So as I keep increasing the order, I reduce my, my uh, residuals here. So if I do fifth order, looks like it goes down even further. So I mean, I could just go ahead and do like sixth or seventh order. But so here's the thing, this is starting to get tedious. So what I probably wanna do is just make a loop, right? So I'm gonna say, one's length of y comma one. And then I'm just gonna make a loop one to the order. So n equals well you have to go you could actually just make h an empty matrix. N is the order, start at zero, and then you could say h is equal to h comma x raised to the idx power n. And what that'll do is every time you loop through here, you'll just concatenate an extra one. So for, here's first order. So I just get a line. And then if I do second order, I get a quadratic. And so now I can go ahead and I can just do like 10th order. 
And uh-oh, I got a matrix is close to singular. So here's the problem. The length of y is 12. So if you make this order very, very close to the number of data points you have, you start running into trouble. So we can probably, so nine, it says it's very close to singular, but I still got almost on there. If we do say eight, maybe that error will go away. No, the error is still not there. How about seven? Okay, six, five, there we go. So it looks like five is the uh, only time that the error is close to zero. So you want to you wanna stay pretty much probably around five because the uh, matrix is getting close to singular or is badly scaled. Um, but the point is, is that the uh, regression curve matches uh, really well. And so now you have a red line that interpolates the data points. And there you go. And that's pretty much least squares regression in a nutshell. I mean, you can do uh, whatever you want on that. You could plot the, uh, you know, the minimum temperature, MIN, and do average min temperature, change Y to min, and then run it again, and there you go. There's the average minimum temperature. I mean, it looks almost the same, but that's probably because, let's do, let's plot months, comma, average, max. I bet you the max and min temperature are pretty, pretty close. Let's do uh, green stars. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're like right on top of each other, so that's fine. But you can regress any curve you want. That's uh, pretty much the bottom line. So uh, hopefully that helped. Good luck.